So welcome back guys and it's Queen G-Star. I'm not even shouting, I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully I'm here, I'm gonna be here with Abu Torah, the absolute legend, the Mujaddid in the Arabic okay. language. Uh, maybe, maybe, God willing. Before we begin this video, we're gonna shamelessly plug my ebook before we actually get into plugging the ebook what's the reason why you should get the ebook now i did host a ucat course with over 600 near 700 students mm -hmm. this year and nearly 99 percent of them loved it didn't get a single negative feedback and wallahi i'm not even lying promise to god i'm not even lying yet you didn't yeah, get yeah, one yeah, yet. yeah yeah okay N nonetheless hopefully over to you begin anyway guys so make sure you check the links down in the description below hopefully they're going to be there i'm a little bit tired right now but anyway let's go straight into it so guys uh when it comes to the b mat you guys probably know by now now that there is section one section two section three now the way we're going to try kind of go with this nice little flow is that we're going to talk about each section individually yeah. and perhaps we talk about some of the mistakes and some of the you know uh, good things that we've done and so if you want a more in-depth detailed video i've got three videos that are going to be covering his face right now hopefully there'll be one there and then the other one will be there and then the other one will be back at his face and hopefully yeah. we'll begin yeah anyway so uh once you watch those videos this is more like a summary so that you understand the points that we're trying to make okay, yeah. more like a chilled Okay. Uh, kind of conversation but anyway when it comes to section one so in section one is very very close to the UK and again plug in you got the entire UCAT ebook as well as the UCAT uh, all of the videos so check them out section one is going to be very close to the UCAT so if you're a person who did really good in the UCAT uh, keep on doing some more revision I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the BMAT so section one should not be much of a difficult thing do you reckon right on what aspects are similar to the BMAT um, timing, I guess, a little bit. You have a bit more a time bit. in the mm, yeah. in the bima, but I guess for me, uh, it's because it's kind of like a sit down exam. The pressure is there. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. For me, I really felt the pressure. Whether it's in front of a computer for the UCAD, but even for the bima, when I was doing a sit down, mm. I felt that pressure. So go in, kind of mentally preparing yourself, if you know what I mean. What aspects are then like decision making? Mm -hmm. No, no, I, I was gonna say that. So when it comes to that, oh, there is. Uh, verbal reasoning is not there, it's not there it's really. Not the so um, there is decision making, there is more quantitative reasoning there, mm. more of the math stuff I guess. Yeah. Um, at least for the early BIMA that I took, yeah. I remember seeing more of the kind of uh, quantitative reasoning yeah. kind of being pushed a lot. Okay. Abu, what is that burst? <laughs> oh, Abu, sometimes in the edit, oh my god, I just get cringed out and um, yeah guys I don't have a trim and I'm not eating well, hence the sports but all you guys are giving me evil eye. Um, but nonetheless, if you guys are, are enjoying the video, do do like like the video, do like comment down and watch the other videos in the playlist. But apart from that, let's get straight back into the video. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. also, um, some of the aspects is that the question that you get, mm. there are way more multiple choice questions. So there's yeah, yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F yeah, 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 yeah. until, do you understand? So it's a little bit more difficult I guess and you know the, from what I remember at least is that you know the quantitative reasoning yeah. um, the text was much bigger do you understand? Yeah, to yeah, read. Yeah, yeah. It from was a what I remember. Based question. More yeah, it was more yeah, yeah. So it's kinda of a little bit more reading, do you understand? Yeah, no, I get rather you. than more maths, do you understand? Hundred so. percent. Now even within the ebook I talk about something called periodization. And it sounds a little bit fancy and something called conditioning. Basically what it is is that in section one, the emphasis is primarily due to timing. Now if you have extended periods of time, most likely you'd be able to smash that exam. So the one tip that I give is to take section one practice with five minutes less than what you are allocated, which is the Hour. so 55 minutes try to do all section one practice reason being is that so when you do your exam you will find it like more time spacious is that right no no yeah i get you, I get you, you. understand I'm, yeah i get the point that you're saying basically now the second tip is periodization as well as something else that i mentioned now when i took the bmat one thing that i done is i done similar questions together so there was like which is the weakest strongest argument or no not weakest strongest but you understand what i'm saying like yeah, one yeah, which was the weakest which was the biggest flaw in the paragraph mm -hmm. which was the conclusion of the paragraph yep. now you do all those questions together so you flick through the beginning of the booklet and you start with those questions and you skip the um, spatial reasoning questions as well as the quantitative reasoning questions you skip all of them you go to answer the easiest questions first which is essentially the verbal reasoning ones the substitute verbal reasoning ones yeah. and hopefully when you complete them then you move on to the spatial reasoning questions now the spatial reasoning questions are those that have the cube with the sides of the face like mm -hmm. x and the way to answer that and i know this is a little bit sneaky is to use your rubber have you thought about that one no i, d I don't even think i've used my rubber like that trust me i used it like, bro i was drawing on the rubber and using it oh, in mid-exam wow. that's a mad one no 
No, no, it's good, it's good. Yeah. I get you. But I didn't think of it, basically. Yeah. Now, for section one, the way to practice is to use the official BMAT papers. Don't pay for anything crazy. It's not like the UCAT. Okay. I got it for free, by the way. But anyway, no, I had it. Dates, I, I had it. dates. No, no, no. no. Okay. I had it. So, you want to talk about a little bit about Medify BMAT? It's good, I would say. I'm not going to lie. It's for, for me, for some reason, I didn't find it as good for section two. Yeah. Now, obviously, we're talking about section one. Mm. But for section one, I believe the UCAT bit yeah. is like... Helped you a lot. Yeah, it, it helped me much more. More, I would say the UK bit because you know the expired date mm. when I got it yeah. I had much more time to understand so I could use the UCAT bit yeah. much longer because of the expiry date how it works basically okay. so that's what I would say UCAT bit is probably much better but again that's subjective so what would you say I understand what you're saying but the one tip the one crazy tip that I give it's not even crazy it's the standard tip is to use all the official BMAT papers right from 2004 because being real i didn't go through every single section one which i should have i prioritized using books thinking that that was going to help me now the books are good like separate books that i'll put on the screen but they're not as good as the real paper itself mm -hmm. so complete every single paper out there the best way to revise is if you do a section and a friend does a section in his own time and you review it together so he goes through it and if you get it right you get it right if you don't get it right then you tell your friend explain it to me and in this way if you start off early like i've done it with a friend and i know yeah. i've done it with abdul majid i'm gonna give him a quick shout I, and let's be honest you know. guys yeah he going to medal i'm but he's gonna be with you yeah, at bart and not gonna lie we literally went to the library the entire day yeah, yeah, yeah. And we barely got anything done. Is it? <laughs> we chilled yeah. and we were just fighting in the lab and we were literally going through uh, UFC stuff, literally. I don't, have, I don't advise that, yeah. by the way. Obviously, we don't advise that. So, And the last point of periodization I didn't really mention, which is essentially when you're two weeks, three weeks into this or into the revision schedule, you do section one and section two together. Then you take whatever you need to take as a break. Then you do section two and section three together. And then you slowly begin to do section one, section two and section three. And the final tip for section one is to save 2019 and 2018 for the last two days before your exam. Reason being mm -hmm. is so that you're not burnt out, but you are up to date with... Yeah, so you're kind of like in the right mental state. That's what you're saying. 100%. So you're kind of like prepared to go in and you're not like, what's going on? What, what's happening? Do you understand? Mm, exactly. So you already got the enough preparation. And you know, stamina wise, like you're good. Do you understand? Yeah, no. So you can go in and you're not like falling asleep or like not knowing what to do. Do you mm. understand? You're like in the right mental state. So 100%, that is one key tip. Now with section two, the way to revise this is the same go through all section two papers and it's a lot easier than section one to get feedback on remember that friend tip to ensure that you don't necessarily need to meet up like Torab did you can do it over FaceTime you can do it over voice call yeah. and you can review questions and on top of that this is what I forgot to mention for section one is that for 2014 the official Cambridge body has released a explanation like an explanation yeah, uh, yeah, document they, yeah so they have the document where they basically show all of the BMAT scores and they also kind of have like a review and say okay this section people did this 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 because and then they talk about the kind of questions that people kind of made more mistakes on uh, so the uh, entire review is that what you're talking about no 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 that's the examiner report I'm talking okay. about they go through the actual questions for one yeah. year and one year only okay they do it for the specimen paper as well but again you can do specimen in your own time now the other tip that i give is that ensure that if you are stuck and your friends cannot help you that you save like for example a bunch of physics questions or something along that nature and have like 10 then go to your teacher don't go to your teacher for one single question because you'll find out that you're spending so much time just trekking to the teacher trying to find yeah. the teacher and you're wasting time yeah. and don't let this is one other point that i give don't let the revision guide tailor your revision. Like, for example, you start revising everything from the, um, what do you call it, the OCR BMAT revised yeah, edition yeah, yeah. or something yeah, yeah. like that. So, basically, CGP. one more thing that I wanted to say is that if you're watching this and obviously you, you want to get into med, what happens is that the standard is probably that you're doing uh, maths, chemistry and biology for your A-levels. But obviously here, me and Kringista, we've done, alhamdulillah, maths, chemistry, biology and physics. Yeah. So, the benefit with that is that you kind of kind of go through all of this stuff do you know what i mean you have in your 12 yeah yeah, yeah. You've done all of that. a lot of people don't kind of do the physics do you understand okay. so after year 11 they might not do physics for year 12 yeah. and what happens is that they kind of have to revise that physics mm. so the advice i would give is that if you didn't do the physics or let's say you don't do maths or a subject mm. that's coming in the bma make sure you prioritize that a little bit more do you understand yeah, yeah, yeah. because you want to make sure that you kind of do good in that section and obviously if you're doing maths chemistry biology and physics then you're kind of in a 
much, uh, I would say, better position than the rest of the students who don't do that, How if you know what I mean. So for physics, obviously there are the BMA section on Medify also has all of the, B, uh, the bits yeah. uh, from what I remember. Without you, going to Medify. Like without going to Medify is fine. You can, you can find out the specific topics that are going to be coming up in the physics. Do you understand? In the specification. Yes, of okay. course. And then you can perhaps go and uh, find out year 12 content on that. Uh, just go on your whatever, AQA, OCR, yeah. whatever. Make sure you kind of revise that if you know what I mean. You so, forgot the guy with no trousers. Or potentially What no the trousers. hell? What do you mean? Mr. Free Science Lessons. This oh. is your shout out. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. He goes through yeah. everything. No waffle. Ensure that if you haven't studied physics in like two years, yeah. that for example, Transformers usually yeah. comes up in the exams. I would say uh, watch like YouTube videos at first to kind of get yeah, the memory yeah, back. Yeah. And then obviously do questions. And most important thing is past papers. Mm. But always don't go straight and do a physics question about moments or vectors or something when you haven't done physics for the last one year. Do you understand? So kind of refresh your memory. That's the way I would say it. Yeah? Yeah. And then start and oh, yeah. Bang yeah, out the yeah, past papers. Yeah. Do you understand? 100% now the last tip I'm gonna give is that there's gonna be questions inside section two that are just gonna take too long. Honestly, they're gonna take so much time and you haven't got that time to give it. So what I would advise is to skip over the crazy maths questions. And the tip that I give as of 2019 when I sat my exam. Now I done the worst, like retrospect not retrospectively, like like relatively yeah, done, yeah, 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 relatively speaking, I've done the worst in section two. So one thing that I would really, 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 really advise is just skip. Because in the middle of the exam, there was super, super hard questions. And at the end, there were super, super easy questions. So the yeah. guys who done the questions at the end said... I mean, I guess it's, it's different. I don't know if that's for every paper. No, Remember, there is... Like, yeah, so the way I would say it questions. is that when you do the UCAT, what happens is that you can flag questions. Whereas yeah, yeah. in this case, you can't flag it because of the fact that you're doing a paper, sit down paper test. Yeah. So what I would say is that take your little pencil wherever and circle the top of the question. So then you know that if you have any extra time you can come back so what i would say is that guess the answer for that question and then circle it and then continue doing the next question and then if you have time come back and review the questions with the circle that's the best tip that i can give you for section two bro with that because a lot of the times what you do is that you don't you feel like you don't want to skip the question but that is the best thing for you to do do you understand so that's what you should do guess the question one second of all circle it down third of all come back to it if you have time now an update for this year and we found out yesterday is that did you know and obviously we're gonna see Abu Tarab if he knows or not did you know that the BMA is gonna be online this time yeah you know what I mean like the actual exam is gonna be online so everyone's gonna have to bring in a laptop oh so they're not doing a paper no. but they're all gonna be in the but same place yeah, yeah yeah but you must be able to flag I think you must be able to flag still. Okay. Your, your okay. tip still counts. I'm just yeah. saying like... I'm saying for future you know, years. Yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So for section three, I'm going to hand it over to the big boss. There's no two ways about it. Abu Tarab, right. the absolute legend. Legend. Okay, legend. Okay. Legend. All right. Thank you, for, thank you for the... Oh, no, for you take over the mic. It's your privilege. No, 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 bro, no I'm no, chilling. Honestly, I'm chilling. Honestly, 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 All right, guys. So I'm um, going back to the... Slowly move out the camera. All right, no, no, come back. Yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, for section 10, alhamdulillah, it was my best section. And honestly, I feel like I really did good with that. Mm -hmm. So with section 3, the way I would say is that, first of all, you've been given three different options from what I remember. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because mm -hmm. I've done the early beamer. It's been over a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I would say is that make sure you are smart when you choose the question. A lot of people, I know it's quite hard to choose between three options especially when you're like sitting down with everyone around you doing the exam mm. you might accidentally choose the wrong question now the most important thing is that imagine you choose the wrong question you can't like scrap it and then restart because you have like a specific uh, have page at least exactly no so so page. yeah 100 percent. so you kind of have no retakes mm. as uh Kringista just mentioned here so what i would say is that guys make sure one that one you one choose one the one so i can find it later on what the hell was that bro? <laughs> anyway guys, um, going back to what I was saying yeah. uh, with uh, BMAT section 3 is that make sure you choose the right question. The importance of this is that if you don't and let's say you kind of talk about a topic that you don't know anything about and you're like mm. waffling halfway through. Yeah. Remember you have like one page, right? Mm. So you've got like roughly one page and what you want to do is that you don't want to waste that page of you like scribbling everything up so take a good one two minutes of the half an hour that you've got left even like five minutes ten minutes yeah yeah so not yeah. ten minutes okay that's you too much ten minutes to choose the to choose the no, question because you need choose, to plan it as well choose. yeah i thought you were talking about planning no 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 oh, so i'm talking about it. choose okay, the question okay, yeah. once you choose it then okay. plan it yeah. I wouldn't recommend 10 minutes for planning. I would recommend six, seven, eight minutes max. I wouldn't say 10 minutes because okay, 
it, uh, you perhaps depends if you're a fast writer or not. Okay, okay. So maximum, I guess, 10 minutes okay, okay. to choose the question, plan it around the page, and then go straight into the writing. Yeah, yeah. One more important thing is that make sure you write down paragraphs because you don't want to do like an entire page with no, like, you, someone's going to look and be like, what, this guy's talking all over it's the place. And yeah, part of yeah. the mark scheme is that your or your information is coherent. Why is your hand shaking like that, bro? I don't know. This guy's, uh, I don't know what's happening. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe it's holding the mic. Bro, bro, you, okay, you okay, hold okay. it. Okay, because in the mark scheme, it does does mention that structure and coherency is a major marking point. I so mean, if, if, even if you do like English language, yeah. GCC, you understand how important it is mm -hmm. for the structure to be there. And remember, guys, people who are marking your papers are probably guys who are tired and they marked so many papers. And the last thing they want to do is read an entire page with no gaps they're going to be scared they're going to be kind of like read through do you understand yeah, what i'm saying yeah. so make sure the structure is up there i would say best thing is probably three paragraphs that's the advice i would say yeah. three paragraphs is the best thing alhamdulillah i think that is the way for you to get the score do you understand so 100 percent. that's the advice i would give you three nice little paragraphs cut down the waffle please you've got one page do you understand 100%. so cut down the waffle and talk about actual statistics perhaps if you remember statistic, mention it. And perhaps if you kind of can put like a quote in sometimes, I would advise that because I did that. So kind of in your intro, perhaps put a quote that you already know that's related to it. Because from what I remember is that when they asked me, one of the questions was about Nikola Tesla. And what is, is that if you do remember a quote from Nikola Tesla, in one way or another you can plug that in and someone will be like the person that's reading it will be like hey this guy knows what he's talking about yeah, do you understand yeah. he knows about nikola tesla it doesn't mean make it up though yeah no 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 don't make it up of course a quote that you actually know yeah, yeah. do you understand so that's what i would say and with that i think we kind of mentioned everything so guys basically we summed up everything there are question three section titles that i do go through in detail the video should be covering his face for the last time in today's video but nonetheless go check out his link go check out my medchuck web page go actually it's gonna benefit you if you don't get it you don't get it hopefully there will be a lot of people who get it as it is yeah inshallah so guys make sure you check the links down in the, in the description below i guess the medchuck subscribe to the channel like this video check out our q a playlist it's probably going to be covering my face again video, or yeah. something i don't no, no, know yeah the the okay it's gonna be at the end of the video this time yeah, yeah. and so yeah guys and uh, do your i'm gonna do the standard peace